frequency tables. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to basically get right into the example. Frequency tables are a way of organizing data so it's a bit more visually appealing. Okay, so if we look at example one, it says 20 people were asked how many pets they had at home. So if we look here, we've got 20 results. Some people had zero pets at home. There was one person with seven pets at home. Lots of different numbers here. Question A says construct a frequency table for the data below. And a frequency table is basically what's below. We're just going to fill it in. And we start with our score section. Uh, I've just got to grab a pen. And in our score section, we notice that 0 is our smallest number and 7 is our largest. So our scores should go in order from 0, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way to 7. There is no 6 up here, but we should still have it there. We shouldn't be skipping numbers. All right, so we've got our tally and our frequency. A tally is, you don't have to have a tally, but a tally is really useful when you've got a lot of numbers. For instance, if I look at the zeros, I've got 1, 2, I think about three zeros. Uh, whenever you use a tally, you don't really do the frequency to the end. So we'll keep on going. How many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. Two's now one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Threes, one, two, two threes. Uh, I see one four, one five, um, zero sixes, and one seven. Okay. Now, once you've done your tallies, you should make sure they're all crossed off. Yep, they're all crossed off, and then you can write your frequency, which is exactly the same as your tally, except a number. So we've got three, seven, five, two, one, one. We need to put a zero here, and one. And that is your frequency table there.